All right, we are back at 641. We're seeing the highest tide of the fall this week. Ryan Breton joins us this morning to tell us more about the king tide. Hi, Ryan. Hey, Sharon. These tides are typically known as the highest of the year. They happen in the spring and they happen in the fall. And to understand them, you first need to know that these are really governed by the moon's phase. When you have a new moon or a full moon, you can have really high tides and really low tides. But when that moon on its orbit is closer to Earth, there's a little extra gravitational pull and it brings up the tides even more. In fact, I've got some great video from Sunday night as that windstorm was coming through. This was in Kennebunk. Waves crashing up over the seawall during high tide. They're flooding the road. They actually had to close the road down around one in the morning in Kennebunk Sunday night. But you don't need a storm to get flooding during these very high tides. This was yesterday in Hampton, New Hampshire, along a marsh there. The water rose up enough that it started to flood a nearby neighborhood. These are called sunny day floods because you don't need a storm necessarily to get them. They're just naturally high tides. And another picture, this one comes in from Bar Harbor. You can see the marsh running very high there. And this picture behind me comes in from Wells yesterday. You may see similar scenes today. High tide coming up at noon. It's the last of this high tide cycle. Now, one of the reasons these get so much attention is that our sea levels are going up. So even just by a few inches, these tides can occur a little bit more frequently. It doesn't take as high of a naturally occurring tide to cause flooding. And a big reason for that concern is that if we get into a situation with coastal flooding, uh, 1,500 Mainers are at risk, 19 roads, and 1,500 homes. So there's an economic impact too. Live in the studio this morning, I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, News Center, Maine.